Hello kids, Patrick Livingston of easyanimalstodraw.com and today we're going to be drawing this animal. The Yorkshire Terrier, or Yorkie, sometimes referred to. We start by drawing in the four marks to define the size of the hip circle guide. This guide will help us when we come to draw in the body of the dog. I've dotted it in lightly until I'm happy with the circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. The most important thing is that the circle has the right proportions relative to the other circles for the body and the head. Rather for the shoulders and chest and head. So this is the shoulder and chest circle. And now I'm going to draw the overlapping circle for the head. Dotting it in lightly. You can use a compass or a lid or a coin or whatever as a guide for your circles if you want. Um, I would advise you to have a go in drawing them by hand and don't worry too much if they're not perfect to begin with. They'll get better with practice. Drawing is all about practice. Now, two triangles as guides for the, the Yorkie's ears. Obviously, change my mind about the exact size of those triangles. And now we're going to draw a line across, a curved line across, which will act as a guide for the placement of the eyes. And a second line, which will act as a guide to draw in the nose and muzzle of our Yorkie, or Yorkshire Terrier. Join up the two circles and gives that's our body shape and a guide for the tail and four lines which will act as guides for the legs. Now my favourite bit where Now, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's not my favorite bit. Drawing in the eyes now, and you'll notice that I'm leaving a little part of the paper, circle of the, the white of the paper, to indicate a, a reflection of a light source, which will give our eyes a little life and vitality, indicating that they're wet and shiny. Now the nostrils for the nose. You notice that the far eye is a little less defined than the near eye. That's because it's going to be obscured slightly by the fur, by the coat. The fluffy coat of our very silky texture to the, the coat of the Yorkshire Terrier. Unlike the, the Westie, uh, it is a very smooth coat. Now I'm using my thicker pencil. I find that more suitable for the texture of the, the Yorkie. 
which I'm indicating with little small marks, little jagged marks. Because although the, the the coat of the Yorkshire Terrier is, is very silky, it's also quite ragged. Now the ear. And the second ear. Just indicating the insides of the ears there. More marks to indicate. And now a jagged outline to indicate that shagginess. Typical of quite a few terriers. Now the foreleg nearest, the paws and claws. As you can see, quite short legs, typical of dogs that were bred to hunt rats. Rats at one time were a huge problem for farmers. And indeed, most, most people in England at the time, in Yorkshire and Lancashire, because the rats would eat your food. And they also carried disease. So... Dogs that could deal with rats were very much appreciated. Again, that jagged effect. Now that jaunty tail curling over the back, which gives the dog a lot of its character. And now we're going to be getting to my favorite part, which was removing, removing the structure of the scaffolding or drawing guide to reveal just the drawing. A little correction there on the size of the foot. Putting in the nose more strongly. It's a good idea to put the nose in more strongly because it's going to be rubbed out, as you can imagine, because I've got to get rid of that line running right through the middle of it. This as I said, is my favourite bit. The transformation of the, the drawing plus the drawing guide to just the drawing. Where it will assume a much more natural look. And of course it's, it's normal that part of the drawing will be erased by your eraser or rubber and uh, it's a putty rubber I'm using, which is, is a, you can buy in art shops. And uh, it's very, what it does is it, it's very gentle with the paper. It doesn't tear up the surface of the paper. And it's less of a problem here because the paper's got a smooth texture. So now I've got to go back in and redraw the bits that had to be rubbed out. There's no way around it, removing the, the drawing guide. While I'm doing that, I will tell you a little bit about the Yorkshire Terrier. It was developed during the mid-1800s in the northern English counties of Yorkshire and Lancashire. It became a fashionable lap dog. But its beginnings were distinctly working class. The breed is said to be the creation of weavers from Scotland who went south to the English North Country and they brought their Scottish Terriers with them. Now I'm drawing in the shading in the nose, time to shade in our Yorkie. And as you notice, I'm going to leave a little area, a little lighter in colour on the tip of the nose, because the nose is, it's not as shiny as the eyes, but it, it is, it's not as matte as the coat. 
it has a slight sheen to it and we can indicate that by leaving a lighter a little a lighter area at the point to indicate that it is reflecting light to some degree and now notice how the the hairs on the face the hair on the face flares outwards from the nose so I'm keeping the direction of my strokes emanating outwards from the nose. So there's a lot of, a lot of Scottish terriers, terriers in the breed, some of whom are now no longer with us as they died out. Sometimes people would make jokes about the, the Yorkie's long silky coat because it was a, a weaver's dog. People used to joke that uh, the coat was so silky and soft that it was woven by the weavers themselves. The turning point in the history of the Yorkie was, came in 1886 when the British Kennel Club or the English Kennel Club recognized the Yorkie as a distinct breed and with this publicity the, the Yorkie went on to become a, a very fashionable ladies companion. So it went from, become, from being a ratter to becoming a, an amusing and adorable companion sitting on the laps of ladies in the lap of luxury being fed little titbits no longer having to hunt rats for a living. Yorkies were first seen in America in the 1870s. And the first Yorkie in America to be recorded by the American Kennel Club was named Bell, which is B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E which, as you students of the French language will know, means beautiful. Drawing in the detail around the eyes. And if you notice the, the eye itself, it has the dark center, which is the pupil, which reflects no light. And the iris, the area around the pupil, is shaded at the top, so it's going to be a little bit darker at the top and a little bit lighter at the bottom. And if you, if you shade your eyes like this, along with the little speck of, little circle of white to indicate a reflection, you'll get a very lifelike eye. Just remember, Shade the iris darker at the top, where it's in shadow, and the iris will catch light at the bottom, so make it a little bit lighter. The darkest part of the eye will be the pupil, a little spot or hole in the center that the light goes in so the dog can see. And if you ever want a softer look, you can always take your finger and smudge a little bit the, the marks of the pencil, soften them, if you ever need to create a softer look. The coat of the Orkie is more like human hair than animal fur. And they make fine little watchdogs. This is a true personality breed. You can see that from looking at its face. Its cute little face staring out at us from the paper. As usual, I'm making all my, my shading marks in the direction of the coat of the Yorkie.
in this, this apart from shading and creating an, the form of, of the animal, it also, at the same time, gives us the illusion of its fur, of its silky coat. Darkest part of the year is inside, near the center of the, the dog's head. Now here's that technique I mentioned, where you can soften, and if you've, if the, in softening it, if you, if you've darkened areas that you think you should, should be a bit lighter just do what I'm doing, just go back in with the rubber. You can go backwards and forwards. Shading and lightening. It's particularly particularly useful technique when putting in the shadow underneath the dog just to use the graphite from the pencil that you've picked up when you're blending the marks on the dog's coat to just rub between the legs and you'll you'll get a, a very soft, a nice soft shadow just using the tip of your finger. Even though the texture of the the hair of a Yorkie is very silky, it's still quite rough in appearance. Now the tail, a perky little tail that indicates some of the character of the of our Yorkie. The Yorkie can is a tenacious, feisty, brave, and sometimes bossy dog, exhibiting all the traits of a true terrier and often named the most popular dog in, a, in American cities. You can see why. I'm continuing to add marks. You notice that I'm trying to keep the marks going in slightly different directions. rather than all going in the same direction to give a better indication of the, the shagginess of the little Yorkie's coat. If you'd like to go across to my website, easyanimalstraw.com, you can pick up a PDF file which you can download and print out with the drawing guide or a Yorkie, and uh, that'll help you get started. Download it and print it out. Just Google easyanimalstodraw.com slash Yorkshire Terrier.
And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And smash the bell to get notifications of up and coming new videos. And if you have any comments about the, the drawing or the video, we'd love to hear them. Just comment in the comment section. And there's our finished Yorkie. So until the next time, I wish you all happy drawing.